Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are next to the Intracoastal Waterway in Fort Pierce, Florida. And you are looking at the view from a bucket truck next to a newly installed concrete distribution pole. We will be watching the framing of that pole by the Fort Pierce Utilities Authority. Our video sponsor today is Burns and McDonald. So one of our first tasks in framing this new concrete distribution pole is to bring up a new fiberglass cross arm and you see all the orange protective guts or line sleeves protecting the wires as we're doing this work. You also see pre-drilled holes here for attachment of cross arms and other equipment. And this concrete pole and fiberglass cross arm assembly are part of a wood pole replacement program as uh, these materials withstand the Florida weather a little better. And then as he secures this cross arm to the top of the pole, is going to come back down and pick up three insulators that he's going to bring up in his bucket and put on that cross arm. And now we are back up at the top of the pole as you see him insert each of these three insulators onto this cross arm. You see these copper wires extending from the top of the insulator. Those will be used to tie in each of the three phases of this distribution line. Position that correctly and then tighten that in. And we'll just show you one more here for the B phase of this line. Another insulator He's again going to attach three total and you'll see each of them here as we show the movement of the energized lines from the old cross arm to the new. And that's what we're going to see here as you see this jib and a line and hook on it. That hook is going to grab this energized line and move it. This is actually phase B. They're going to start with phase B, the inside phase so that they can then go out and do the outer phases. You see it being taken from its old wooden cross arm up to this new fiberglass cross arm on the top of this newly installed concrete pole. As you see that line being pulled up and will be set in place on the new pole. And then next you're gonna see him use those copper the short copper wires that we saw before that are attached to the insulator to tie in this distribution line to that new insulator. And here we will see that same process on the outer phase of the line. He's taking off the copper wiring, removing it from its old insulator on the wooden cross arm, bringing it up to the new insulator on the fiberglass cross arm setting that in place and then he will use those copper wires again to tie in this line. He's going to slide those line sleeves or guts back over this portion of it. And here simply showing you a view of the third phase of the line being tied into the new cross arm up on top of the concrete pole. And then just a quick shot to show you that while they are up here, they are also sequentially cutting down the old wooden pole using a chainsaw. And he's going to use a kind of a cross cut method here. And then they'll carry down each piece of that wooden pole in their bucket truck. And you can in fact see that fresh cut on the old pole here as they remove this capacitor bank. They're simply going to bring this up and set it on the new concrete pole. And there are preset uh, holes again for the installation of this type of equipment. And this capacitor bank fits nicely on this new concrete pole. Come down. I'm going to set it in place and tighten that in. And then as we back away, you see this capacitor bank on its new pole. And next, the crews have to move this street light from the existing wooden pole to the new concrete pole.
And then the final shots of this concrete pole framing video we will show you from the ground. You can see in this shot the capacitor bank in its new position, all the lines covered up, and the street light that we just moved. We're going to create all the power taps to tap these lines in. And then the final step will be closing in these cutouts with a hot stick. And so as the bucket trucks pull away, we now have our newly installed concrete distribution pole on the Intracoastal Waterway at Fort Pierce, Florida. Again, our participating utility was the Fort Pierce Utilities Authority. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND Howe Videos. Thank you for watching.